apparently the buses are going around and it's saying the bus is full and there's only maybe, yeah. you know, like half a dozen on it. They've got, they've got your list, they've got like, now, because I'm just, just to suggest where you sit and where you don't sit down this uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit, of social, of a bit of social distancing going on there, Glenn, absolutely. This room is going to announce that it'll be over by December time. Well, we'll, see, you see, you see, well, no, because nobody knows. And what I'm loving about the Scottish First Minister is she comes on and she's straight where you like, you know, she's just yeah. straight out front. Whereas, you know, oh, we're, we're getting a kind of mixed message from the English administration, you know, and I it's think, that, you know, they should be saying, look, time of crisis, national government, can the yeah. Scottish First Minister come and run the kind of PR bit of the whole thing? Can mm -hmm. she also handle all the press conferences? We'll do all the back stuff, talk to the scientists. You know what they're thinking, but you know what they're thinking about, man? They're thinking about economy, aren't they? That's all they're thinking about. Yeah, but you see, economy's going to no, be no good if everybody dies. Yeah. That's probably, exactly. you see what I mean? You say, well, we weren't wanting to restart the economy, but we told everyone to get back to work. Everyone died, and uh, there's, yeah. no, there's no money. I mean, I went into a certain supermarket, which I won't mention for... Well, good reasons. man, good man, Glenn, well done. And the yellow markings have been taken down. Mm, you see, you've got to... People are not, you, you know, you assume that everybody's intelligent. You assume everybody's mm -hmm. got the same intelligence as yourself. No, not yeah. not a good move because they ain't. You know what I mean? Even these high establishment supermarkets are just no. What you say? Well, they, well, they're hoping that people will just keep their distance, but you've got to be telling them. What, what, well, what we've got up here, there's a couple of the staff at the door, and they're going. Yeah. If you just stay there just now, sir. Thanks. We'll give you a shout, and then you see some yeah. people leaving, and they go. All uh, right, who's next? In you go now. On Sunday, when I went to the supermarket, I knew they were about 10 12 queuing just like a football match got out. Yeah, yeah, they were just queuing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yeah, out of it. Social it's distance. Better to be safe. It's better to be safe than to be sorry, isn't it? Yeah, and they're all on the phones anyway, you know what I mean? They're standing there on the phones. Exactly. You know, when social distancing's over, and if we do get through this uh, COVID thing and we're allowed people yeah. to come round, I think I'll invite a couple of friends to come round and just go on the phones. Because that's, exactly. what, that's what some people do. They come into your house and they go it's, on the phone. It's the phone, Scotty. Yeah. Yeah, that's all they do. And you should treat it as a fag. We should maybe have a sort of phone tray and you put your phone yeah. out. You put your phone out. You say, give us that. And you rub it on the tray. Just put it away. You just hold up the phone tray. You say, come on, just give us that. Just put it, we don't have phones in this right. house. Well, just take, just take charges off them. Just take the battery charges off them. Just take, take, yeah, that's just it. Grab the phone, grab the stand yeah, take the batteries out. That's it. Lose all the you numbers. Can lose, you can lose it now. <laughs> lose all, do a factory reset. Exactly. Don't know about The factory reset. <laughs> This, this, that's when, they, that's when they lose all the numbers and everything. There's no communication these days, so it's to be no, well, That's what you need to do, you know. We need to we need to be able to switch everybody's phone off. Old fashioned values have gone on there. I think they should maybe speak to, you know, if if if, if yeah. there's something wrong with your phone, it goes emergency calls only. Definitely, right. Yeah. Well, we should include maybe a mum and dad on the emergency line, and then the yeah. phone companies switch off the kids' phones during school hours. And turn the internet up as well on them. You know, that's it. You yeah. see, and uh, and it doesn't work during school hours. Precisely. Yeah. And I think I don't know for sure, but I think some schools must have a sort of screen built into them. Some of the modern schools, because you can't get a signal. Uh, round I reckon so, yeah. Yeah, that's what, and hospitals, all that sort of stuff as well. That's yeah. what they Glenn, I'm going to have to dash, but uh, thanks nice for very much for coming on, yeah. and thanks for raising the game. That way, Scotty, it's, it's high expectations now, isn't it? High expectations now, we're up there now, the rest have to follow your lead. Definitely, Scott. Absolutely. Take it easy, mate. Dinky do la. Uh, I'll see they. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's it Glenn fantastic stuff so there you go excellent stuff and uh, we do like a bit of Skype 
You can't beat a bit of Skype, I always say, you know. Fantastic. Now, uh, so, Romans 